So you've seen all those classic and stylish summer looks for the entire family. It's only fair we create the same excitement in the kitchen with some classic desserts. So we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover, timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. I love that little baby love by Clover. It works for me. Now, in a world full of trends, the favorites will always remain a classic. And creme brulee is one of them. But if the technicalities of this classic recipe may ward you off like it has me, then you need to take note. Because as we're showing you a little cheap method for this beautiful, timeless taste of a creme brulee, in fact, we're going to put the brew in brulee. Just letting you know, we've got the perfect person to do it. You're welcome, Michaela. She is here. That's right, <laughs> laughing already is a good sign. Michaela Tsuyan is here to make sure that we are getting the right recipe for you. I want to make sure that you know how to do this. We're going to use Clover Classic Custard. It's the perfect accompaniment to any sort of dessert, and we're going to do it this way. So, cheat method. What I'm worried about, Michaela, mm. is that I don't see any saucepan on the stove to make our custard. This is where you come in. The hack, the cheat. Let's go. <laughs> Well, custard's really made for us. The Clover Classic Custard. Exactly. Oh, my word. Mind blown already. <laughs> That's the recipe. Cheers. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, no. Okay, no, it's fine. Right, so. Okay, but here's the thing. The custard, it's a bit loose. So you have to give it something to stiffen it up. And I want to know what are you going to use to make sure that we get the perfect set creme brulee that we know. We yes. are using some... Mascarpone cheese. Oh, my word. That is my favorite. Apparently, that's a horse's favorite cheese. Mascarpone, because they. <laughs> it went too <laughs> I'm sorry. Much. I'm sorry. I just, we, just, just to forget that you heard me say that. It's very cheesy, but <clears throat> oh wait, that's cheese. It works, right? So talk to me. So you got uh, mus mascarpone, right? We'll put a mascarpone cheese, great. And now you're just sorry, man. Oh, don't be done yet with me. Please give me more time. So what have you put in here? This is vanilla essence. Vanilla essence, great. You can actually do this. Thank you. Are oh, you so kind? Go for gold. So what do I do? Are we whisking or spooning? Because um, I'm a big fan of spooning. Prefer? Anyway, okay, I'll use this. This works. <laughs> God, you're too much. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with okay, it. Okay, so I'm, I'm just doing this. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just kind of incorporating yes, the vanilla. Exactly. And what is this doing to the mascarpone? It's just incorporating the vanilla, but it's also loosening up the mascarpone, Ooh. which you need a little bit more loose in okay. this moment in time. So do you want to do, do my, my hand blender Go fast. method? And while you're doing that, I pour in some okay. of our. Yes. Have a classic custard. And we're gonna, are we going to fold that in? No, you might as well just keep going. I mean, okay. they're all like pretty loose, yes. textured ingredients. That's true. I'm intrigued because now I can see it stiffening up almost like we would have done it with a saucepan on the stove, which is great. And also we're using this Clover Classic Custard. Made for us already, I might add. Versatility, delicious recipes, all of them incorporated into this. And that's why it is a great sort of cheap dish. And so it basically we... matches the colour of your that's, shirt. That's oh, thank you so much. And your that's hair. A, uh, thank you. Yes, this is a great sort of a... That's why every morning on Espresso here in S3, we just say yellow. We don't say hello. We have a different greeting. That's only yellow. You. That's literally... That's from like... 20... Yeah. 20? 20... 2001. 2001. 2000 and early. 2000 and late. <laughs> when that's I was fine. still in school. When you were still in school, really? Yeah. When did you matriculate? 2010. 2010. That was the World I'm Cup old. year. No, you're not old. That was the World Cup year. I matriculated in 2003. What? Yes. <laughs> that's right. I know I look like I matriculated in 2010, you know, but this is it's, it's, it's all makeup. Uh, and great creme brulee hacks. That's how I stay young. Um, you actually apply this to your... F no, I'm kidding. You don't. Right, so... This, so then, okay, it's all loosened up. That's perfect, Carl. So Thank you. So you would want to divide this into some ramekins. That's right. No need to grease them or anything because this is more like a custard. Indeed. And yes. I, I, I like it because the texture is quite great and it's, it's going to be easy to put into your ramekins as well. Yes. But I think the part that I'm really excited about is that it wouldn't be a brulee because the French word is actually, you know, burn. So we have to burn something, and I want to burn something. So what we're going to use, okay. sugar-wise, this is important. Because some people will like want to dump brown sugar on there, no, or no, white no, sugar no, on no. there, whatever. We are going. So you need something that's going to um, caramelize and melt very quickly. So yes. you use caster sugar. That is great. Thank you. I would actually say, like, this is quite a thin layer. You can go for gold, because the thicker it is, the harder the snap. Also, when you say go for gold, golden brown, because of the brulee. I see what you did there. You're so smart. She's just so smart. 
Yo, honestly. Okay, cool. What are we doing? Are we doing this? Do you want to do half and half? Because I've been excited to use fire. Let's get this out of the way here. Okay, are you ready? I'm already going. Okay, you're ready to go. That's, that's cool. Uh, shall I do commentary? Uh, Michaela is going around the outside with the flame. Can she get the perfect brulee? Brew she won't. Brew she will. We'll find out soon enough. Here we go. She's coming around the outside. Going to the brulee. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. It's golden brown already. Golden brown. And this is a beautiful <laughs> thing that she's coming around over here. The sugar is melting. And we are melting. It's sweeter. It's getting sweeter. See, we should have put more. Yeah, we should have probably put a little... Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is great. So, if you want to get the recipe, Michaela, and I, we spent uh, hours putting this recipe up on expressoshow.com. If you want to get all of the details, it's all over there. Use your Clover Classic Custard, please. It's the perfect hack. And you can impress guests, because you can say, like, uh, you, they come over, you use your French accent, you say, well, I have met you at Creme uh, You can always stay here, and I can make you uh, something else, which is uh, very beautiful. So, give it a shot. The recipe is there, and have fun, but please be careful with the blowtorch. And I, I call it a you... flamethrower. Okay, well, flamethrower. Be careful with this one. Supervise yourself, uh, but I think it's going to be fun for the entire family, and this is what we got, which is a beautiful creme brulee. Thank you, Brew.